consider an example. Let's say we have a user, user A, and they have chosen a random value between 1 and 10, inclusive. And in this case, let's say they chose a value 7. And we have another user, user B, who's trying to guess what value A chose. So B doesn't know that A chose 7, so what B can do is, given that it knows A chose between 1 and 10, is make guesses between 1 and 10. So let's say on the first attempt they choose randomly between 1 and 10. If they get, maybe they choose 3 and they ask A, did you choose 3? And A says no. So B chooses again. And it doesn't choose 3 again, it selects from 1 and 10, but it will not use select 3 again. So maybe in the second temp attempt they choose 5 and asks A, A says no, so B makes a third attempt and chooses 10, asks A, A says no, I did not select 10, and on the fourth attempt, let's say B selects 7, they ask A and A says yes, I selected 7. So in this case, B took four attempts. The first three were unsuccessful and the last one was successful. Of course, B may have done it in a different way. B may have selected, uh, in an alternative case, uh, the values in a different order. So it may have selected 8 first and been unsuccessful, and then selected 1 and ask A, no, and keeps trying, 9, 4, unsuccessful, 3, Five, six, still unsuccessful, two, and ten, still unsuccessful, and now we've cho tried all numbers but one, so B has finally tries the last number and says, did you select seven? And yes, we've finally got the value that A chose. In this case it took ten attempts. And this is the worst case for B. Ten attempts. They had to try all values before they finally got there. So when we have ten values to choose from, the worst case in the terms of the number of attempts is ten. Another scenario, maybe B chooses numbers in a different order again. Maybe the first number they choose is seven. In this case, they immediately get the correct answer. So in this case we have one attempt which is the best case. So the best case is when B chooses the value which A also chose. Of course B may choose in different order and if we repeat this experiment multiple times in the first experiment they took four attempts, the second one ten, the f third one one attempt, and we keep going. On average, the number of attempts that B is going to take is five. That's the average case. And although we're not sure, so uh, if we keep making random experiments, then 10% of the time it will be the best case. They'll choose it in the first instance, one attempt. 10% of the time it will take two attempts. 10% will take three attempts, and so on, until 10% of the time it will take 10 attempts. So the average number of attempts it will take is 5 the average of those values from 1 to 10.